call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. I don't expect a response of any sort. I just can live with the regret of never telling you any of these things that I'm about to say. You'd always ask me, why do you hate me? And I would always say that I didn't, but the truth is, there were a few things. I hated the way you beat yourself down over small things that you shouldn't have. I hated the way your thoughts ruined your nights, and I hated how hard it was for you to fall asleep. Other than that, I didn't hate anything about you. I loved the way you smiled. I loved the way your eyes squinted when you smiled really hard. I loved the way you laughed. I loved the way you snortled when you laughed really hard. I loved your hair and the way the girls rested on one another. And I loved how frizzy it would get after we drove around for a while. I loved your eyes and how easy they were to get lost. I loved your empty stare when you'd zone out almost at anything, anywhere. I loved the look you would give me when you were judging me. Um, and I loved when you'd look at me and didn't think that I would notice. I loved your perfume, I loved your style, I loved your voice, and I loved when you would sing in the car. I loved when you would talk about yourself, or even when we sat in silence, because even then, it felt like something filled the air. I loved that you would listen to me without judgment, and I loved when we would walk around stores aimlessly. <laughs> I loved that you made me feel less alone, and I loved that you were a sense of consistency in my life. You gave me a reason to look forward to the next day, and that made me love your heart more than anything. You're one of a kind, and that's why I fought so hard to keep you in my life, but it's very apparent that you couldn't care less about me anymore. Now I wish I could hate you, but I physically can't. I loved you. And uh, as a matter of fact, as much as I hate to say it, I still do. I know you don't even remotely feel the same way, but I couldn't live with the regret of never telling you that. And, uh, I, uh, I'll always care, so if you ever need to talk to someone, I'll always be here. Uh, no matter how long it's been since we last talked. But you and I both know that's not going to happen. So I guess this is goodbye. I hope you get everything you dream of. That's the main thing people are controlled by. Thoughts, their perception of themselves. They're slowed down by their perception of themselves. If you're taught you can't do anything, you won't do anything. I was taught I could do everything. <laughs> I'm nowhere near my, where my dream is, dog. I got, man, I got aspirations. I got big dreams, motherfucker. Or any limit to what you think you can achieve. No, because I think right now, if I was to quit rapping and I say I want to go to the NBA, I would be in the NBA. No, you wouldn't. Yes. No, you wouldn't. Yes, I would. No, you would. Why would you think you could make it to the NBA? Because I think I could do anything. <laughs> <laughs> go listen to all my music. It's the codes of self-esteem. It's the codes of who you are. If you're a Kanye West fan, you're not a fan of me. You're a fan of yourself. You will believe in yourself. I'm just the espresso. I'm just a shot in the morning to get you going, to make you believe that you can overcome that situation that you're dealing with all the time. What kind of music do balloons like? Pop music. What song are you listening to? I'm not listening to music right now. That's a weird song name. I know it really is. Who is it by? Uh, the, the voice is in my head. Most men will only experience unconditional love from their mothers, and some of us don't even get that. Most of us have never even felt appreciation or respect without conditions or hidden intentions. We don't know what it sounds like to hear, I see you, and I'm proud of you, I'm glad you're here. You really make a difference. Link statistics coming out of Fernando County today focuses on the mental health problems they're facing and the lack of help. All of this comes in the wake of last week's suicide of a 12 year old. There's a stigma in this world that men can't talk. Listen, if you're a man and you've got 
weight on your shoulders and you think the only way you can solve this by killing yourself, please speak to someone. Speak to anyone. Are you okay? No. Thank you for asking. Why? I am dead inside. So the thing I keep thinking about is, was it worth it to be happy for a little bit, even though it ended up sad? Or would it have been better if the whole thing never happened? I want to kill myself. Build this up. So, anyway, I don't know. Is there anything I can do to help you? <laughs> could you a hug? I'll give you a hug. Seems like you got a lot going on, man. It's all right. It's all right, man. Yeah, that's the thing about being alone. It's not that you feel like you don't have anybody. It's like you feel like nobody has you. Are you okay? No. Are you in love? Uh, I was. That broke my heart. I was. You're never like this. She really touched your heart, didn't she? They've gone to a club and they've picked the biggest prick in the joint. They've ignored someone like me, who isn't amazingly attractive. I don't have hench arms. I don't talk about my gains. I just enjoy fucking food, all right? But I'm a nice guy. I'm a nerd, all right? But you won't pick me. Why is every pretty girl with a horrible looking man? I don't understand. Listen, I'm not shaming people for their looks, but I am though. You give an ugly guy a chance, he thinks he rules the world. How long were you happy for? Maybe a day, maybe 24 hours. I'm fucking miserable. I'm miserable. Do you, how do you deal with this? No, because if you're a lover, you gotta be a fighter. How so? Because if you don't fight for your love, what kind of love do you have? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I don't want to live in a hole anymore. It makes me feel poor. We are poor, but we're happy. Come see, come stop. Anyway, the views are better above ground. Honey, I'm seven non-fox years old now. My father died at seven and a half. I don't want to live in a hole anymore. And I'm going to do something about it. to sleep lonely tonight um, uh, yeah something never felt kind of okay um, I just never felt okay pick a superpower right. invisibility or flight right I'm already invisible I haven't felt good for a long time you know I haven't I haven't felt good I have for a couple years that something had been bothering me telling us that you're depressed. Yeah, I'm depressed. I'm always depressed. I'm in a dark spot. I know I'm in a dark spot and Are I've been there for a work? long time. Well, feel sorry for me because I was deprived of this, that, and the other thing and I was raised really well, just like this kid was. This is all, I don't feel any emotion toward him right now. Why? Because it's all a game. It's all his for MO. To get his way? His MO. His yep. manipulation of his... <laughs> When I was between 12 and 15, I used to hug the clothes in my closet just to feel like I'm hugging someone real. It's been years since I hugged someone. I can't do this anymore! What? Now you like me? Finn, what are you talking about? What am I talking about? <laughs> Pee-wee, I was... I was in love with you, okay? And you didn't love me back. Now I'm ready to move on, and it's like... <sighs> You're gonna build me up all over again! Well, I'm done! I'm done! Today I want to share 
a pretty special one with you. And I want to start by asking you a question, personally, on, on a level that, you know, maybe people don't talk to you normally. You lonely? You ever wanted to kiss someone? There was this moment, this one instant of strange calm. Where she looked in my direction and said, I see you. It's the last thing she said to me. I see you. Not a statement of judgment or disappointment, just acceptance and the simple recognition of another person in the room. I never take a day off, work around the clock, my engineer. Three scariest words that every man receives in his lifetime. And the phrase is to be a man. I'll be a better father than he ever was. And I sure as hell don't need him for that. Cause ain't a damn thing he could ever teach me about how to love my kids. What are you talking about? You pushed him. You pushed him. You pushed him. Like, I love my dad. I'm grateful for him. But I've also always been a little bit angry at him. I didn't realize it. Stop with the tears. Stop with your emotions. Don't be some kind of mama's boy, some kind of sissy. Be a man. <laughs> you know I love you. I'm sorry that I said I didn't earlier. It's just the one thing I knew would hurt you. I'm sorry. But you know I love you. And I know that you love me too. It's just that sometimes love isn't enough. At least not for us. I mean, it shouldn't be this hard, you know? We're always fighting and saying things that we don't mean and then we can't take them back, and I hate that. I wish I could forget all of the bad, but we haven't been on the same page for a while now, and we've let too many bad days happen in a row, and I'm just tired. I don't know where to go from here. How do we grow from here? Maybe we don't. I think we both know that we've grown apart, that we want different things. And I think the reason that it hurts so bad is because I still love you with all of my heart. And you'll always have a piece of me. But I don't want to do this anymore. I want to break up. I'm sorry. You know I love you. But love just isn't enough. disappoints and gets worse and worse until it ends in a catastrophe. 
The world went and got itself in a big damn hurry. I have trouble sleeping at night. I have bad dreams like I'm falling. I wake up scared. Sometimes it takes me a while to remember where I am. I guess I'm too old for that sort of nonsense anymore. I don't like it here. I'm tired of being afraid all the time. I've decided not to stay. I doubt they'll kick up any fuss. Not for an old crook like me. I am dead inside. You're just gonna get older and harder and more alone. And you're gonna do everything you can to fill that hole with friends and your career and meaningless sex, but the hole doesn't get filled. And one day, you're gonna look around and you're gonna realize that everybody loves you, but nobody likes you. And that is the loneliest feeling in the world. I don't need you. That's what it was, that's what it is. Somewhere a long time ago, I needed somebody and they didn't do it. And so I decided at that point, I guess, I don't need you. The only person I need is me. Usually when people ask how I'm doing, the real answer is I'm doing shitty. But I can't say I'm doing shitty because I don't even have a good reason to be doing shitty. So if I say I'm doing shitty, then they say, why, what's wrong? And I have to be like, I don't know, all of it. You're a fucking asshole, dude. You're an asshole. You murdered yourself. You murdered yourself. You killed someone. That person happened to be you, but you couldn't even show up for yourself. You. F I'm trying. When? You. I hate you. I hate you. Why can't you just get me out of this place? Why? to kill myself today. How many people do you think are happy? Well, they just did a study. There's a famous Harris study on happiness in this country. I think 67% uh, of people are unhappy. I am meant to be lonely. I just wanted to erase my existence. After eight years and five suicide attempts, I still feel like I'm no good to anyone. I'm sorry. There are certain good things about being alone. So you find yourself trying to remember the things that made you happy. Can we get closer? But slowly, your brain begins to erase every memory that ever brought you joy. Every man has two lives, and the second starts when he realizes he has just one. I don't think he wanted to, I don't think he wanted to accept the fact that people loved him. Yeah, I mean, I think guys like you and I, you're, you're uh, more likely to, like, suck it up. Huh? What are you I saying? Can't, I can't hear you. I can't fucking hear you. Do you understand me? No, what I need what I need is a fucking gun in my mouth. What I need is a fucking gun in my fucking mouth. Okay? I should fucking burn in hell for no. what I said to you. No. It, it was no, just... No, 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 no. Randy, no. I'm just sorry. It's, it's, 
I got a lot of people that care about me, and uh, it's going to disappoint them to, to hear that I did this. Um, I would like to apologize to each and every one of them. Um, just a broken guy. Got a few screws loose, I guess. Never really knew it <clears throat> till now. Maybe he's lost too. But I think everyone feels a bit lost sometimes. I go, how long were you happy for? Maybe a day? Maybe 24 hours? I felt like I was useless because that's what my parents told me. That I was a failure and a loser. I believed them. I don't understand how I can be fine and totally fine, make so much progress the very first time, and then completely fuck everything up. The only answers are I'm an idiot or I'm doing it on purpose. And Come on, lie to me and tell me you did. Let me feel like the piece of shit I am. Did you love me or not? Answer me! Yo, if I disappear, like, who cares? Nobody cares, man. Seriously. Yo, and that's okay. That, that's life. If it was me dying on the sidewalk, you'd walk right over me. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. Have you achieved your maximum potential. If your answer is no, my next question is why not? Is it a lack of self-confidence? A lack of motivation? Lack of granted? You don't know how much longer you're gonna be here. You can do great things. It's all just a matter of will you choose to blossom into the greatness that is within you? I didn't have that many friends, but the friends that I did have were really good friends. In fact, I'm friends with those friends to this day. But also you have like acquaintances in high school and I just remember goofing off and asking girls out, getting rejected. And when you're young, you just, I understand that that sentiment. When you're young, you just feel in invincible. Or at least I did anyway, like, you know, I was. Our plans are going to have deviations sometimes, sometimes, Things ain't gonna work out the way that you want them to. And that is perfectly fine. So long as you do not give up. If you start putting limits on yourself, ah, oh, too old. Ah, oh, I can't do this. Ah, oh, he's smarter than me. Ah, oh, he's more in shape than me. You can outwork anybody. You don't have limits unless you put them on you. Why would you? You only ever think about yourself. See you later, older and less cool versions of me. Old? Hey, I'm from the future. To me, all you guys are ancient history. Good to know there is a future. And men like you to carry on the good fight. Word. Bye, guys. Next time you should hang around longer. We could start a bridge club or something. With four different Spider-Men? One thing I know for sure. Out of all of them, I'm the best. Fucking hell, man. I'm finished. You ever been in love before? Oh my god, they got they got the uh <laughs> Yeah, I've been in love, you know, I've been in love, I've been in love. When Joey grows up, he wants to do nothing.
in our traditional definitions of success. I don't just load these bars with metal plates. I put everything on them. My anxieties, oh. my fears, my hopes, my dreams. You achieve failure. Now, the only place to go from failure is to win. You gotta go out there and fail. You gotta go out there and fall down. Most people who've won big have failed big. Nice shot. What's it like hanging out with comics? Are comics cool? You like them? You like yourself? Oh, I don't know about that. Let's start with other people. Okay. That's safe. more than anybody. Um, and uh, <laughs> um, but uh, Matthews, ladies and gentlemen. If if I wasn't hit by a train and that world was ever, I'd ch choke him out. He made me cry a, a couple of times. <laughs> How do you plan on living your life? <gasps> Have you really never given it any thought? I'm just afraid that if I died today, that my life would have amounted to nothing. But why? Why is it we have to be so afraid of death? If just being born is the greatest act of creation, then what are you supposed to do after that? Isn't everything that comes next sort of a disappointment? But that's what it's like these days. Things get so busy that, um, you know, I don't know if I'm living sometimes or if I'm doing a to-do list. We all think that life happens to me, right? Life happens for you. It happens for you. I need everybody to think I'm the greatest. And if they aren't completely knocked out and dazzled, I don't feel good about myself. Take a chance on being loved or hated for who you really are. If every time someone asks you a question, you try to say the right answer, your entire life is a test. To make something special, you just have to believe it's special. If you give up on your dreams, if you give up on your dreams, what do you have left? 